It started back with the Apex Corporation in the 70s, and the birth of Silicon River in North Korea. Even back then, their tech was way ahead of what was coming out of America. We bought everything they could sell, from phones to tablets to just about anything. And when they started making weapons, well, we couldn't resist. Our wars in the Middle East had been getting worse and worse, one leading straight to the next. Even after that terrible day in Riyadh, we kept fighting as our country fell apart. And still, we bought Apex to give us an edge. As the dollar tanked, our debt to North Korea spiraled. Unemployment rocketed, and the country was on its knees. The failing government defaulted on the debt, and the North Koreans made their decision. Every piece of technology they'd sold us had a back door. They turned off our military with a single button press. The first KPA troops on U.S. soil were said to be there to rebuild. But after the early aid packages, there was only brutality. They stole our liberty and our freedom. America is under control of the KPA. But she will rise again. You are the revolution. Hello and welcome to KAC. I'm Su Bing Kang. Today's top story, preparations begin today for the much-anticipated Patriot's Day Parade. This auspicious calendar event celebrates the contribution of the liaison officers who work tirelessly to bridge the gap between the emergency administration and the ordinary citizens. To ensure the safety of the citizens during the parade, Mayor Simpson has vowed to redouble anti-terrorist efforts and has allocated additional peacekeeper resources to tackle any and all criminal activity in the lead-up to the parade. Mayor Simpson has just released the following we all know only too well the threats we face daily here in Philadelphia. The bombings, the shootings, all orchestrated by Benjamin Walker's national network of terror. Rest assured, we will bring these criminals to justice. Peacekeeper patrols keep our streets safe and secure for all citizens. Thanks to improved threat recognition systems in our drones, potential off, terrorists Brady. can be identified and neutralized swiftly. That fucking guy. He calls us terrorists after what he's done? He wouldn't be so confident if he knew Walker was right here in Philly. Yeah, Walker's really gonna stir things up. How long till he's due? Five minutes. Hope one of those new drones doesn't scan him. Are we ready? I think so. It's something, eh, Brady? Only been, what, uh, three days with us? And you're gonna meet Walker in person? He's the whole reason I'm here. He's inspired all of us. Brady, can you pass me some gas? Thanks. I guess Walker was a legend in Washington, too, huh? I heard a little about what happened there. I'm sorry, I'm glad you're here with us now. Hey, guys, there's something weird. The street's deserted. What? Shit, is it us? Fuck, Walker's gonna be here any minute! It's a oh. Out! Get out! We don't tell him nothing, Brady. You hear? Hello. Thank you for waiting so patiently. We can get started now. So, you are gonna tell me where I can find Benjamin Walker. You're wasting your time here. The last thing I heard, Walker was down in Memphis. You know I have superpowers. Fuck your powers, you pathetic little traitor. 
Oh, sounds like someone needs a demonstration. I'll show you exactly how powerful I am. I take my hand, like this. I point. Mary. And... Do it, you son of a bitch! No! No! Ain't that something? So, how about it? Are you ready to talk now? I'll tell you. I'm getting tired of your bullshit! Start talking! I won't go so easy on you. It's Walker. Wait, wait! Fuck you. I'm Walker. I'm getting out of here. Oh shit. This is the place. We should be safe here for now, but the Norks will tear the district apart looking for us. We've got to make contact with another resistance cell. Fuck, I picked a bad time to get shot. Remember these? This phone is our ticket to safety, if you can find a network transceiver and hack into it. That'll connect us to the hidden resistance signal and show us the closest safe house. Here, take it. We're working blind here. You need to find a resistance stash. That should have intel on the district, including transceiver locations. But hurry, Brady, we don't have long. They will find us. We have to locate a safe house. You look tense.
can't believe it. It's Walker. Oh, God. Walker? Oh, no. This changes Leave nothing. You hear me? Too. Others will rise up. You can't stop. Ah! Get the fuck off me! Get the fuck off! I can't see. They got him. Did you see? Good. He was all like, what the fuck? Damn. I saw it. Where are you going, huh? <laughs> fucking spy. Fucking traitor. Trying to sell us out to the Norks for a handful of rice, yeah? Let's teach him a lesson. I'll go first. Easy, Bakes. Dana said we caught anyone, we gotta tell her first. You don't want to piss her off, do you? Well, I just hope she leaves a piece for me. Wouldn't count on it. I don't think I'll be seeing you again. <sighs> Heavy fuck, huh? Be a bit lighter once Dana's finished with him. Yeah. <laughs> Hello down there. I'm Dana. And you are... Mr. Spy. You and I... We're gonna play a game. You're gonna tell me what the Norks know about us. And I'm gonna hurt you... while you do it. This game will be a lot more fun for me than you, I'm afraid. The question is... Will it be quick? Or will it be... Really? Really? Slow. Just scream as loud as you want, okay? No need to suffer in silence. Okay. Nipples first. <laughs> hey, Dana. I hear we got company. Who is he? Ah, uh, just another spy. I'm asking a few questions. How do you know he's a spy? Well, that's what Baker and Skizari said. Those two? Dana, they're dumb as shit. You got anything on them? Say, pal. Some ID. What you got here? Ethan Brady. I knew it. Walker's message said he was coming in with this guy. Well, no one told me. Yeah, well, if I could ever find you when I need you. Mm. You'd only just joined Harvey's crew, right? I'm sorry about what happened, but you survived. We could use a guy like you. I'm Jack Parrish, by the way. This is Doc Sam Burnett, and, uh, ain't no more you met. No hard feelings, I hope. You're a lucky boy. You okay, kid? Looks like some head trauma. Possible concussion. I got some pills you should take. Hey, Doc, you don't need to open up. He needs to keep his focus. Head injuries can be unpredictable. You feeling confused, kid? Disconnected? He's fine, Doc. You know what's real, don't you, Brady? Looks like he's been through a lot. Last thing he needs is more trouble. Can't you fix him up a new ID and let him go? It's not that easy, Doc. You saw the screens. The Norks want this guy bad. Besides, we need people like him. Ain't afraid to take a chance. He's seen too much already. Yeah. So, what do you say, Brady? You're gonna stick with us, huh? It ain't gonna be glamorous. And you're probably gonna die. Ah! Speeches like that! I'm amazed we haven't won the war already. Yeah, well, that's why we need Walker. Our words ain't my specialty. So, any objections to Brady joining us? Yeah. No? Sweet. Well, if no one's gonna listen to me, I'll be getting back to my work. Good luck, kid. Come on, Doc. All right. As soon as we get word where they're holding Walker, we gotta find a way to bust them out. Everything depends on him. But first things first, we're gonna get you trained up and show you how we do things around here. I'm heading out. Got that transceiver to take care of. See ya. Walker. Well, it's good you came along with me, did we? Walker must have seen potential in you. I don't know if he trusted you. My instincts tell me you're all right. We need more people like you. People willing to join the uprising. That's what it's all about now. We gotta stir the people up, and soon enough we'll be snowballed. 
Get the whole city behind us. And the Norks won't stand a chance. Walker's a spark. People will follow him. We gotta get him back. Uh, we've been down here for a few months now. This is all part of the Broad Street subway extension. It was mothballed back in 21 when the city ran out of money. It's not on any of the pre-war maps, so the Norks don't know about it. And here you have it, Brady. This is the boot that's gonna kick the KPA's ass. Come on over here. Well, first things first, let's get some American steel in your hands. This is, uh, Sidney Cook. He runs the armory. Who's this? That's Ethan Brady. He was helping Walker. Walker got arrested. Yeah, but that wasn't Brady's fault. Don't worry about Cookie here. He's uh, generally in a pissed off mood. But he's a genius in improvising weapons, and that's why we keep him around. Ain't that right, Cookie? Always cooking up something new. <laughs> One day you're gonna make that joke and I'll shoot you dead. Then we'll see who's laughing, huh? Sidney, take it easy, will you? Brady needs a weapon. What can you spare? You can have this. If it turns out you show some aptitude, then we can talk about upgrading. There you go. Now try converting your pistol. Always a charmer. See you around, Sid. Parrish, we're still waiting on that transceiver intel. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Don't worry about it. More's on it. Say hey to Brady here. He's a new recruit. The resistance is more than just frontline troops. What's up? People helping the best they can. Take Doc Burnett. He's a good example. I should just ask for it. That's not gonna win this war, though. Top line is, we gotta build up our strength by expanding our red zone operations. We keep ambushing and raiding. That weakens the Norks and strengthens us. Eventually, we'll turn the tables. And in the yellow zones, we're fighting for the hearts and minds of the people trapped there. We give them the belief that we can win. And when Walker gives the call, they'll rise up and follow. We only get one shot, though. We gotta be ready. Okay, I want you to head to the red zone. Dana will teach you how we operate. Out there, she's the best in the business. Just try not to piss her off, huh? Show me I'm right to trust you, okay? You don't want to go out there unprepared. You should take some Molotovs. Hey, Lorna, help the new guy out. Be best if you learn how to make it. Dana, this is Parrish. I'm sending you Brady. He can help you hit the KPA transceiver. Make sure you get the coordinates of every KPA operation in the area. Dana here. Understood. We'll get you those locations. As soon as we can reach the KPA transceiver, we'll download the data. Shit, Dana. We got a patrol. They must have switched rooms overnight. You got any ideas? No time to go around. Let's hit him. Brady, over here. Okay, Parrish wants you trained, and I guess I owe you for before, so you get to learn from the best. Just try not to screw things up. New plan. We're ambushing this patrol. Brady, best if you go with G-Man. Just do what he says. Try not to die. Come on, buddy, this way. And yeah, try not to die. Alpha. You got anything? Give me a second. Okay, yeah, Dana, there's barrel traps on Elm Tree Avenue just ahead. Brady, through here. Come on, let's hustle, dude. Through the window, then get your head down. They're close. Just hope it works. They're approaching the marker. This is it. Ready on the barrels. Not yet. Wait. Now!
Isaac, we're flapping in the breeze here. Where are you guys? Isaac, we hit trouble. Be better if we split up. Everyone head for a transceiver. With luck, some of us will find a way through. Brady, I've uploaded a transceiver location to your phone. We'll try for the others. Good luck. Parrish, we hit trouble. We had to split up. One of us will get there, don't worry. Turn it into a strong okay, I'm counting on you. Back. That warehouse contains a KPA transceiver. Acquiring access to it may grant us intel about the nearby stronghold and other KPA operations in the zone. to the transceiver. I'm impressed. We'll put that intel to good use. I guess Parrish was right about you. I'm gonna follow up a possible walker sighting. You should familiarize yourself with our operation. We have our main weapons store hidden inside this district. It's run by Ned Sharp. You should head over there. Introduce yourself. I'm uploading the location to your phone now. I'll see you around, Brady. Miss Helen says there's no trace there. What the hell has happened to them? Oh, you Brady? More called. Said you might show up. Lucky for me, you did. I got a patrol gone missing, and I could use your help. So just, just wait a second. Get a hold of Connor. See if he's checked out the coastline. Maybe they got themselves lost or broken down. If he's free, tell him to grab a bike and, and, and go take a look. Sorry, Brady. I'm Ned Sharp, by the way. I run the armory here. But like I'm saying, I've lost a patrol. They were following up a report that Walker was being moved. They said they had a convoy in sight, then their transmission stopped. Any information on Walker is vital. We gotta find out what's happened to them. I got people out looking, but there's a lot of ground to cover. I need you out there helping the search. Keep trying to raise it. Could be something Walk on their radio. Ned, I'm doing my best. I told Andy he was getting too cocky. Why can't Hey, new guy. Are you gonna look for Andy's patrol? Brady, it's Ned. The more ground we can cover, the more chance we'll find Andy and his men. I'm marking your search area on your phone. You find anything at all, I need to know about it. Good luck. message and you're closest. Marking the transmission source on your phone. Get over there. See if you can help. I'll send support as soon as I can. Tried. We tried. They went 
Brady, it's Ned. Thanks for what you did. Christ, I hate losing people. Only silver lining is this lead on Walker. Andy's guys saw where the Norks were taking him, and our spotters just reported some of them aren't dead. Norks captured them and have taken them to Earlston Yellow Zone. We have to try and rescue them to find out where Walker's being held. Okay, I'm heading to Earlston now. Can you come meet me? You strike me as a man who gets results. I'm marking the tunnel location on your map. I'll see you there. Brady, it's Parrish. Ned told me you really helped him out. And I'm glad I was right about you. He says you're heading to Earlston, so I gotta warn you the Norks have ID'd you. Your name's all over the news. Pyongyang Polly's telling everyone you're a murderer. You have to be really careful, okay? That can fill you in when you see him. Hey, Brady. We managed to get a real foothold in Elm Tree thanks to you, and that's let us force a route through into here, Earlston Yellow Zone. Just in time, too. My guys are being held at the police station, and God only knows what the Norks are doing to them. We gotta get them out before they give up any information. But here's the thing. This is Yellow Zone. That means heavy security. And what's worse, the KPA are hunting you, Brady. And I won't lie. It's gonna be hard just to move around, never mind mount a rescue. But we got no choice. The first thing you do, you hide your gun. Then you have to use the civilians as cover, try to blend in. There'll be a KPA transceiver in the zone. I suggest you make that your first target. But before you go, we got a few tricks up our sleeves. Look upstairs on the table. I think you'll find it very useful. Good luck, Brady. I'm counting on you. Hey, Brady. If you're heading out, we got some firecrackers you can take. Nothing like them for making a distraction. In the yellow zones, KPA forces will recognize you as a wanted man and trigger the global alarm. In order to avoid detection, ensure you keep civilians between you and any soldiers and stay out of sight of cameras, vehicles, and drones. Engaging in combat will also set off the alarm. If the alarm is raised, the KPA will begin hunting you down for as long as the alarm remains active. If you can break line of sight, then the alarm level will begin to reduce, but you can accelerate the cooldown by using hide spots. Be warned though, you can't enter a hide spot while in line of sight of KPA forces, and no safe house will let you enter at all while the alarm is active. Once the alarm level reaches zero, the alarm stops and the pursuit will end. Distraction devices are especially useful here. Throw them to move enemies out of your path or to confuse them while you make your escape. You ain't heroes, you ain't shit. In order to start a revolution, you need to persuade ordinary people to join the fight. The map shows your progress towards inspiring the district to rise up and the five different categories of actions that will contribute to your total. These are strike points which must be captured. Voice of Freedom, where you tune radios to the resistance station. Sabotage, where you destroy KPA infrastructure. Acts of liberation, such as saving people from police brutality, and finally destroying the APCs that patrol the streets. 
In addition to raising hearts and minds, you also earn KPA tech points which can be used to buy weapon conversion, guerrilla toolkit deployment methods, and new kit items. Once hearts and minds reaches 100%, you can activate the broadcasting of resistance propaganda across the district. This will cause the people to rise up and allows access to the KPA's key strongholds in the district. Hey Brady, it's Ned. Nice job getting the intel on the district. Now we know what we're up against. You can see the police station where they're holding my guys, but there's no way we can mount a rescue at the moment. The Norks have total control. We need to change that. We have to get the people on our side. Appeal to their hearts and minds. With them behind us, our rescue stands a chance, and once we get the info on Walker, we can make our move. I gotta get back to the armory before some damn fool blows it sky high, but I'll stay in touch. Good luck, Brady. Billy Alpha, this is Tony. Go ahead, Tone. We lost the vehicle transporting Walker. Gonna try and pick up the floor again. Fuck. Okay. Any sign you let us know. Paris says you want some hard info ASAP. You got it. Oh, God, no. Please, no resistance to duty. We have a concern. New Orleans outcome. Great work, Brady. This will help get Brady. people behind us. Brady, that's it. It's working. People are starting to get behind us. Keep doing what you're doing, Brady. We need chaos. Then we can rescue my guys in the confusion. Great work, Brady. This will help get people behind us. Now the Resistance knows about the garden, they can keep it safe from KPA interference and make sure the produce goes to those who need it most. Nice work, Brady. who are choosing to fight the Norks. Brady, it's Philly Alpha. Head back to the Tunnel House. You can give the signal from there and broadcast a message across the district to galvanize the people into action. Brady, great work. While you've been stirring things up, we've been hacking into the KPA PA. When we turn this on, it'll start broadcasting our messages across the whole district. Should start a goddamn riot. Huh. Wanna do the honors? Every scrap of Time to take Earlston back! I thought I'd be doing this day in and day out. Brady, it's Burnett. I need you at my clinic. It's on your map. I want you to see what you've done. I pity the next one. Take a look. Take a good look. This is your doing. You and Ned stirred up trouble in the zone. And this is the price? People, Brady! Innocent people! 
All this fine talk about revolution. But it's always the ordinary people who suffer. I just don't have the supplies to treat everyone. Seeing as your actions brought most of them here, maybe you'd be willing to help. The KPA have a depot on the other side of town. Should have medical supplies. You want to do some good? Get me what you can. We were here to help us. We were sure. Fuck you! Brady, it's Burnett. That's the depot. Looks like it's protected by electronic locks, but your friends in the resistance always have ways to override them. I heard Ned established an equipment factory in the district. I suggest you see if they can help. I'm uploading the location onto your phone. They were infinite. Hey, it's Brady, right? You've really been doing good work out there. Hey, Brady, heard you've been kicking ass. Here, come check this out. Thirty-five. These are hack tools. We designed them to temporarily override KPA systems. We rigged up this KPA gate to test them. Don't ask how we got it. See how the wires lead? Bingo! You just broke into a maximum security compound. Well, that's a theory, anyway. If you run out of hacks, you can always build more. Yeah. All right. Put them to good use, Brady. See you around. Capturing that drone tower. Losing that should severely impact the KPA automated units in the zone. Be arrested without exception. If you wish to avoid detainment, return to your home. <laughs> <laughs>
killed them all. These poor bastards. They didn't deserve this. They were good people. And the intel on Walker's gone too. Why would they do this? Did they know we were coming? God, what a mess. Look, don't blame yourself, Brady. You did everything you could. At least we got Earlston behind us. You better head to the subway when you can. Parrish wants to see you. Hopefully, he'll know what to do next. Brady, it's Burnett. I'm sorry about Ned's men. Their murder violates every convention on the treatment of prisoners. But it means you caused all this bloodshed for nothing. At least the supplies you got me in let me treat a lot of people. They won't get a chance to thank you, so I'm doing it for them. But ask yourself. I figured we'd have a location by now. Something. What if they just kill him? How are we gonna start the revolution without Walker? You know, people need a hero. Someone they can follow. It's out of our control. All we can do is keep fighting. Yeah. Hey, Brady boy. Come in. Come in. You're doing a fantastic job, pal. I better watch my back. You'll be taking over from me around here soon. Nice to have someone who knows what they're doing. Very funny. Hello. Dial 911. What's up, Doc? What brings you all the way down here, Doctor? Someone tell you we found some band-aids? Listen, Crawford sent a message. The KPA know about the armory. They're gonna attack. What the fuck did you say? If they hit the armory, we'll lose it all. All our weapons, all the equipment. You gotta warn your men. There's still time to get them out. Not without those weapons. We need them for the uprising. We'll be left fighting the Norts with spoons. No, no, no. We need to get everything out first. Find some place new to stash it. We should turn the tables. Surprise them before they hit us. Yeah. Yeah, an evacuation's gonna take a while anyway, huh? We need to stall them. It sounds like it's ambush time. At least we have plenty of uh, explosives ready. There'll be bits of Nork landing all the way over in Pyongyang. And like fireworks, Ethan. You think this is funny? Think you can joke about killing like it's nothing? Hey, Doc. Last time I talked to Moral High Ground, I brought a sniper rifle with me. So where are we gonna stash the guns? Hmm? Oh, it's got to be someplace safe. A few places would be better, so, uh... Hey, Doc. We don't need to use your clinics. They're insane. Perfect. When the revolution starts, we'll have everything right where we need it. No! What if the Norks find them? They'll execute everyone. You can't risk my people. That's not ideal, Doc, but this is fucking war, man. I spent four years begging, borrowing, and stealing to get these clinics up and running. It's a joke to even call them that. But they're all we have. All the people have. Don't be careful, Sam. I'm sorry, we got no choice. The hell with you. Shit. His people? So sweet. All right. You need to get over to the army and help prepare the ambush. Me and Dana are gonna round up as many fighters as we can and meet you over there. You don't have all the fun without us, Ethan. Look. You gotta hold them off until we get there with reinforcements. We need to secure those weapons, you understand me? Don't let me down. Hey, Dana, come on. You gotta move. I'll speak to my team and I'll see you there. We're trying to evacuate the guns, but if we can't hold them back, we're gonna lose everything. Get over here if you can. Dad, I'm sending Brady and everyone we can spare now. Dana and me are gonna get our teams together and come as soon as we can. Just hold on. We need those weapons. Ned, we can't hold you. We have to fall back. We're still loading the guns onto the trucks. We have to find a way to stall longer. All right, Ned.
Charlie, follow me. Ned, this is Parrish. The orcs are screening their attack. We can't break through to you. They're breaking through! Get back! The KPA are storming our position! We can't hold them for long! There's too many of them! We haven't got a chance! I'll never forgive the Norks for fucking up ourselves. We gotta hold them off till those trucks are loaded. Everybody spread out. Watch your lines of sight. They're breaking through! Get back! Protect the trucks! Doc, this is a war. Some things are worth fighting for. Brady will tell you. He just took on a Goliath single-handed, managed to get the brain out. You're a hero now, kid. What's up, Dana? Where you been? Captured a couple of wounded Norks. We've been interrogating them. Yeah? Anything useful? I don't speak Korean. But I'm sending a message back that's universal. What do you mean? What are you doing to them? Parish, turn on North TV. You're gonna love this. Hello and welcome to KAC. All across America, people continue to celebrate the capture of the terrorist leader, Benjamin Walker, here in Philadelphia. 
It has been announced that Walker will stand trial at the Hall of Justice later this month. You believe this shit? You believe this shit? We've been busting our asses trying to track him down, and they go ahead and tell us where he is on live TV. Hall of Justice? Always be Independence Hall to me. Finally, we can do something instead of sitting around with our thumbs in our asses. Hey, we rescue Walker from that trial, and he's gonna dial this revolution up to 11. A rescue? Easy as that. Last time I looked, that place was ringed in steel. There must be a hole in your glass, Burnett. All your optimism's dribbling down your pants. Ah, uh, Doc's right. This is gonna be a bitch. You know what? You don't always get dealt aces. What we need is some good old-fashioned shock and awe to bust them out. I like Walker, but is all this risk worth it for one man? Doc, you don't get it, man. The people are ready to rise up. They just don't know it yet. I wish I could tell them, but I can't. I don't, I don't have the words. Walker does. He knows how to reach people, how to make them understand that fear is the only thing holding them back. And once they realize that, nothing's gonna stop them. Your revolution will become a bloodbath. You think there's a peaceful way of doing this? Look, we finally got our hands on a Goliath brain thanks to Brady. We're gonna steal a Goliath and put our brain in it. And that's how we're gonna bust our way inside. That's a plan I can get behind. Yeah, this kicking boot's gonna be on the other foot for a change. Huh? And we don't have a lot of time before the trial, so let's get to work. Brady, I need you to take the brain to Heather. She's our best engineer. She'll be able to figure out how it works. Heather's lab's in Ashgate, but the district got cut off. We'll have to use our spy Crawford to get you inside. He's a collaborator, but not really, if you get me. I'll tell him to meet you in Holloway and come up with a plan. Tell him to Holloway's down the platform and up the stairs. Good luck. Hey, I need to get a message to Crawford. Patch me through that. Holloway's this way. I got a hold of Crawford. He's overseeing a work party there in Holloway, so he's been able to come and meet you. I told him to get you into Ashgate, so better see what his plan is. Just take care of that brain, okay? Good luck. Hey, Brady. This guy Crawford's waiting for you upstairs. So, you're Brady. Parish's golden boy. I'm Crawford. Parrish says he needs you in Ashgate. Not an easy task by any means, even for me. As you can see, I'm a liaison officer, a collaborator, or clab in your parlance. Though I've been resistance from the very beginning. Now I have certain access rights, but I can't just walk you in through the perimeter checkpoint. No, I've got something else in mind. Watch. The monorail! We're gonna ride that all the way to Ashgate. Of course, it's not quite as simple as that. The trains pass through scanners which will detect any unauthorized occupants, but I've a plan to fool their systems. If you can get your phone close enough to the train, perhaps by disabling it temporarily with a hack tool, we'll be able to analyze the software's handshake protocol and... Well, it's very technical, no need for you to worry about that side. Just get the data, we'll do the rest. I don't want you tampering with the Ashgate line in case they increase security. But there's the Fur Hill line, so head for that. I'll stay and coordinate with the Resistance Code team. I'll be in touch when you get there. systems to prevent them detecting your presence. They just need the handshake protocol data from a train to complete the work. I'll call again when you're close to the line. The KPA leveled an entire block to build a stronghold nearby. Claim it for the resistance and we will make the... Brady, it's Crawford. You're nearly there. 
I suggest you find a rooftop close to the line. That's your best chance of hitting a train with a hack tool. Once it stops, just get close and your phone will do the rest. That's a perfect vantage, Brady. Now you just have to hack the next monorail that passes by. That's it, Brady. Now get close to the monorail car. Bravo, Brady. The data's coming through. The coders will have the Trojan software configured in a few minutes, ready to upload. I suggest you make your way to the nearest scanner. I'm uploading their locations to your phone. Our Trojan software is ready to be used. All that remains to be done is to upload it to the security scanners. The access terminal should be located towards the top of each scanner. Take it back. The main gate is an option. It's too thick to blast open, but if you can get an RC car inside the stronghold, you can maybe use a hack on the gate control panel to open it. Software seems to be working. Now for the others. Billy Alpha to all teams. Just got confirmation that Walker is being held in Indy Hall. Right. So we just go get him, right? It's not that easy. The place is locked up tight. We'll take a fucking tank to break it. Excellent work, Brady. The scanners are neutralized, but the KPA have no idea anything's wrong. All that remains is to get you onto an Ashgate-bound train. Fortunately for you, I have a plan for that as well. There's an old maintenance platform nearby. It was damaged in the troubles two years ago, but if you can reach it and power up the systems, the train is registered as a valid stop. It'd be a lot easier than hurting yourself onto a moving train, I'm sure you'll agree. I'm uploading the location to your phone. Head over there. I need to ensure there's an empty train for you to board. Brady, if the elevator's out of action, try and find another way up. There has to be a way. I boarded a train returning empty from the shipyard. I'll be with you soon. Power on the system so the train will stop. I think it's working. The train's slowing down. Brady, get on! Quickly, before they notice something's wrong. This is it then. If you're detected, we're both dead. This better be worth it. Your sabotage on the scanners was effective. We're out of the red zone. This is Ashgate Yellow Zone. Collaborator district to you. This is going to be a little different to what you're accustomed to. Even the lowest rank liaison officer gets a much better standard of living. 
Since they're so despised by the general populace, the authorities know they have to offer a sufficient perks to make the job enticing. This is the vision the KPA sold us when they arrived. Cooperation to rebuild America and repay the debts. Here people still believe it. Or at least everyone says they do. A lot of the people here are just relishing finally having a little power. You see it in their eyes. Revenge for all the shit they ate before the KPA arrived. Anyway, practicalities. I doubt my colleagues will recognize your face, but the soldiers will be as vigilant as ever. I don't think I have an easy life here. I take risks every day that could see me tortured and killed, but not all wars can be won with guns alone. You think I'd get more recognition? Getting you through shouldn't be a problem. Just let me do the talking. Crawford. And who's this? I'm not allowed to say he has information regarding the terrorists. Is that right? Well, uh... He's not on my list. Of course he's not, but these things can't be planned for. But his information is urgent, so let us through. Come here. Come on. I've heard things about you, Crawford. You're always pulling stuff like this. Disrespecting protocol. I'll have to report it. Well, maybe I'll make my own report. Because I've heard things too, Harris. Like when the authorities came to take your daughter to the camps. You said she'd been killed during the troubles. But I wonder what a search of your apartment would turn up, huh? Do you hear? You don't want to disappoint me, do you? Do you know what happens to those who disappoint me? Sorry to have troubled you. No trouble at all. None of us want that, do we? Come on, you must make your report. Another enemy made. It's only a matter of time before this all catches up with me. I need to go and fetch Parrish whilst Harris is still on duty. You should deliver your package. Just don't stay on the streets too long. You'll attract attention. Brady, you in? Hey. I was a little worried Crawford's plan wouldn't work. He's a touchy son of a bitch, but he's useful. Now, the person I want you to take the brain to is Heather. She's a technical genius. If anyone can figure it out, it's her. I'm uploading her safe house location to your phone now. Hopefully I'll be there myself soon, if Crawford's luck holds out. But listen, Ashgate may be full of class, but you still have to try and get people behind our cause. Keep your eyes open for opportunities to stir things up a bit. The children of tomorrow are being educated oh, in our pioneering education camps, ready to take the reins of this great nation. This is an interstellar. Hey! Talk it out! right? I'm Wiley. Parrish called ahead. Said you'd be bringing us a Goliath brain? I don't know how the hell you got your hands on one of those. Heather's our resident expert on all things technical. She's on her way. Give me the brain, and I'll get it ready for her. Hang here. I'll be right back. Joe, 
I got you this far. Spencer, he took a rifle round, close range. I need more light. Okay, let's have a look here. How did it happen? Fucking York came out of nowhere. We're blind without their GPS data. I need some guards. Come on, come on. Guys, back up. Spencer, fix it. Just keep the pressure there. Okay, Joe, this is ketamine. You're gonna feel a bit odd. Okay. I got it. Looks like you'll be okay. I knew it. He just stick through the heart to kill Joe. Oh, Heather, this guy Brady's here to see you. Parrish sent him, remember? Hey, you're Brady. I'm Heather. Sorry. So, Parrish sent you this Goliath frame for me to look at. Sounds interesting. Let's take a look. Admit it, but modding this will be challenging. You're gonna need to figure this out on something less complex. You think this is the time to be tinkering with Joe lying there shot? Hey, don't you think I feel it too? Spence says we'll be okay. We have to keep going. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Brady, I'm gonna need your help. I want a seeker brain. Should be similar enough to the Goliaths in principle, and I can experiment on that before I risk the real thing. Our stores are yours. Help yourself to anything you want. Hey, come on, Heather. Let Parrish supply his own guys. Wiley, it's fine. This is important. Look, Heather, we're low as it is, and you're just giving away what little we have I left. I know, but we have to work together. Don't worry, we'll organize another raid, okay? Restock as much as we can. There's no point in having a quartermaster if we ain't got any stuff. We couldn't operate without you, Wiley. Don't worry. We'll sort it. Okay. I need to take a closer look at this brain. Technology involved in this brain is so advanced, but all they use it for is killing. Oh, way to go, Brady. That'll help get people on our side. Sending my apartment location to your phone. Come over as soon as possible. Brady, I think I'm finally getting close to locating a Goliath, but there's a problem. I've discovered my supervisor, Sunderland, has been taking an alarming interest in my activities. I did some digging, and it seems he's been gathering information on me for a while now. Word has it that he plans to inform the KPA soon. We have to act first. If he turns me in before I get the Goliath information, then we'll never get Walker back. I can only see one course of action. We have to eliminate him and destroy his evidence. Sunderland will be overseeing the Green Quad during his shifts. We need to take him out quietly. Otherwise, they could trace the incident back to us. The last thing we want right now is KPA officials sniffing around the death of a collaborator. 
As for his evidence, it's definitely in his apartment. Probably locked away knowing Sunderland. I scoped out the place earlier, and it shouldn't be too difficult for you to gain access. I'll upload the location to your phone. Once Sunderland is out of the way, I can continue with my line of investigation. I'll have what we need soon. Good luck, Brady. are starting to notice our actions in the zone. Keep it up! You're getting close to Sunderland's apartment. You should be able to gain access from the fire escape. Just try not to draw attention to yourself. Great work, Brady! This will help get people behind us. He'd been monitoring me for so long. It's a good thing we acted when we did. Sunderland is overseeing the Green Quad during his shifts. It's a weak-willed attempt at community bonding, forcing people to grow crops under the supervision of armed guards. The KPA's laughable attempt at teaching us some personal responsibility for our future, no doubt. Kick them. Get down now. Hey, you. Do as I say. Listen, Brady, you'll have to identify Sunderland to make sure you get the right man. We can't have any mistakes being made. Use your phone's camera and I'll make sure it's him. Remember, Brady, we can't have you killing collaborators at random. Make sure you get the right man. If you screw this up, we're both finished. Sunderland. Make sure you take him out quietly. We can't have the KPA tracing his death back to us. So, Sunderland is dead. It's unfortunate, but I'm vital to the Resistance's success. You do what had to be done, Brady. Now that you've dealt with our little problem, we can get back to the matter of finding us a Goliath. Come back to my apartment and we'll discuss our next move. After all we risk to get you in, you go and get the intel on Walker. Look, you had somebody's coming. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, Brady. Sorry, man. Glad you could make it. Crawford here has some intel for us. Don't you, buddy? Yes, I do. Now, we all know finding a Goliath isn't hard. It's finding one that's deactivated and stealable. That's the challenge. I'd try repair depots and storage yards, but that information is heavily restricted. But then I was transferred into the logistics department. Our primary focus there is the movement of material and equipment in and out of the country. And part of that involves arranging the delivery of military hardware. Hey, you're a mailman now. Very amusing. Come on, I was only joking. Go on. I've located a shipment of Goliaths. Hey, not bad. Not bad at all. In a couple of days, whole convoy coming in over at the old Navy Yard, boxed up fresh from the factory. Ready and waiting to be stolen. We just gotta find a way into that shipyard. Then you'll need my assistance again, it seems. The police station has all the worker manifests, and with help I can access the shipyard's records and make two copies of IDs. You and Brady could use them to pose as workers and just walk right in. Nice. All right, nice job, Crawford. I mean it. 
Brady, you head to the police station. I'm gonna scope out the shipyard. We'll be walking in unarmed, so I want to know exactly what we're up against. Good luck. inside that department. Get in there and hack the KPA network. I can use their signal to work on how to best communicate with our Goliath once it's operational. Any and all persons caught damaging. Having access to the KPA network in Ashgate will give us a better idea of their movements and activities. Should enable us to move around more freely. You did it! People are really riled up out there. All you have to do is send out the signal and the KPA will be facing a much bigger resistance. Much like our odds. Do it, Brady. Send out the broadcast. We got this, Brady. With the people of Philly supporting us, we can't fail. All right, we did it! Time to show the collaborators the price of siding with the enemy. It's time to take Ashgate back for the people. That's it, Brady. You did it. The hey. civilians are fighting back against the KPA and causing havoc in the streets. Sounds like a large group has caused significant damage to the police station. Get over there and see if you can use it to your advantage. Get to the police station and get the manifest. The KPA are too busy dealing with the civil unrest. This is your best chance to get inside. The police station is at the heart of KPA operations in Ashgate. The worker manifest will be accessible from there as they will vet the workers heavily before allowing them into the shipyard.
Was this something I could help you? Crazier than fucking crazy. Every shade of crazy, but it'll work. I wish I had your confidence. Have faith, Jack. Hey, Brady, IDs are good to go. Crawford's arranged to ship our weapons into the yard. Says he's got a guy on the inside who'll stash him for us. Is he reliable? Talking about Crawford or his guy? Both. I guess we'll find out. Well, everything's set, Brady. When you're ready to move out, let me know. Come on. We got a train to catch. I'll make sure my software is online once you connect the brain. Now, go get that Goliath. Another day, another no dollars. At least reading. For now. Don't forget it's zero days since the last workplace accident. Here's your ID. Blend in. Act like these poor assholes that gotta be here every day. Got a couple of new faces today. What happened to Ash and Limey Steve? Beats me, buddy. We go where we're sent. It's time you'd have to work. You get plenty of that here. Just watch yourself. The guards will drop you like that. A lot of guards on the yard. Get on. Place. I wouldn't try slacking off, though, if that's what you had in mind. Everyone gets a quota. I hope Crawford knew what he was doing when he made these IDs. I'll go up first. If the alarm sounds, don't wait. Just start running. I gotta admit, though, it was a good plan he came up with. Shipyard's well defended from the outside, but all these workers are heavily vetted. They won't be expecting an attack from the inside. Once they realize what we're doing, we should have a Goliath's firepower to help blast our way out. Heather's worried the brain won't work, but I trust her down. She's never let us down yet. All right, here goes. ID? Okay. Ash, let's see here. Okay, yes, you're at station two. That's hauling, so I hope you're feeling fit. Go on. English. Okay, says here you're at station two. Hawley. Go on! Wait for this shift to be you okay, over. buddy? Not really. Break from yesterday. Uh, that's what we're here for. Gee, look at thing, ain't it? Should be a bunch of them stored behind that checkpoint. If we can install our brain into one of them, we'll be gold. Greenwashing more like. Go meet Crawford's contact and get your gear. I got a plan to clear the yard. I don't want any civilian casualties if we can help it. You're the guy, Brady, right? Listen, I got your gear in just like Crawford ordered me to. I stashed it in worker area A. But there's a problem. The Norks have locked down part of that area. By the time I realized what had happened, it was too late. You'll have to find a way to get access yourself. Brady, don't worry. There's no radiation leak. I just tripped the alarm. Now, I found where the Norks are keeping our Goliath, and I'm sending a location to you now. Make your way over there, and I'll meet you as soon as I can. Be careful, Brady. The Norks are sweeping the area. Hey, you're doing great, Brady. The Norks haven't figured out what's going on yet. All right, Brady, you made it. Now go and plug that brain into the Goliath so Heather can control it. We'll need its help if we're going to get out of here alive. Snipers. Let's hope Heather can work her magic fast. Okay, perfect. My log show the Goliath is booting up. Now, you need to stay close so I can send commands to the brain from your phone. Don't get too far away or I'll lose the link.
Hold on. I'll have this open soon. Totally stormed it. We got a fucking Goliath! Nice job, boys. Hey, Brady, come here. Brady, come over. Let's here. see how the Norks like a taste of their own firepower. Come on. Let's go take another look at the new recruit. Hell of a job, Jack. Thanks. Shipyard Walker was fucking crazy, man, rescue, but it was worth it. <laughs> Battered but beautiful, huh? Fit like me. And look at this thing. Hey, this is where the tide turns, people. This goes there. What am I supposed to do with this bit? How's it coming together, kiddo? <sighs> it's not like fixing a seeker. Weeks. It could take me weeks. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. The damage it took getting back here has fritzed things. The remote link keeps crashing. The targeting system is screwed. Still, I think the turret's online. Brady, want to fire a test shot? Oh, this is gonna kick ass. We're not going to get this ready in time. Heather, you got this. I wouldn't have trusted anybody else with this. Anything you need, you got it. There's the range, too. We need a staging post closer to the hall. I got a plan for that, Brady. There's a stronghold in Lombard. We capture that, and we'll be in range of the trial. Hey, get that gate open. Yeah. That tunnel leads straight to Lombard. You get going. Heather will join you as soon as the Goliath is running again, right? Do my best. Get to it and good luck. Hey Brady, if you're heading to Lombard, you're gonna need a mask. It's toxic as hell out there. Take this one. Hey Brady, you'll need your mask out there. Norks dusted the district back in 27 when it looked like we'd retake the city. Killed hundreds of us. The stuff can still burn your lungs if you kick it up. I'm uploading the location of the target stronghold to your phone. Once you capture it and Heather fixes a Goliath, she'll come and join you. Good luck. is perfect. I've brought the Goliath. Come and meet me in the garage and I'll go over preparations for freeing Walker. Oh, you don't mess around, do you, Brady? All right, people, we need to secure the area. Check for weapons, ammo, anything that we can use. I need to set up signal coverage for the Goliath. It's where I spend more time at the keyboard than I did before the damn war. And... Got it. Our Goliath now has full signal coverage in the area. <laughs> that should even the odds a little when we storm Independence Hall. Okay, on to phase two. 
So the Norks use flying drones to patrol the red zones. We call them dusters because they drop this gas. Stuff is fucking evil. If we don't want them being used against us when we attack Indy Hall, we're gonna need to take out all of the launch sites around the city. I'm guessing they'll be heavily guarded, but I'm not asking you to go alone. I'll drive the Goliath from here and back you up. Be a good way to test the systems. Just be careful with her, please. Okay, I'm sending the launcher locations to your phone and bringing the Goliath online. Let's get this done. Okay, now I've programmed the Goliath to follow your phone signal. I've got control of the turret. Let's do some damage. completely shut down. I can't even query the systems to get a diagnosis. It's just totally dead. <sighs> Somebody did this. Somebody knew exactly how to cripple it, and I have absolutely no idea how to even begin to fix it. <sighs> Wiley went out and managed to get a hold of some schematics that might help, but he ran into a patrol and had to stash them. I need those plans. His last transmission point is marked on your phone. Can you please take a look, Brady? Without those schematics, I don't stand a chance of fixing this. Brady, the schematics must be hidden in that building somewhere. See if you can find where Wiley stashed them. <laughs> Uh, take a picture of the schematic so I can download it. Brady, great job. I'm receiving the schematic's data. At least now I have a fighting chance. Parrish has called an emergency meeting and wants you there. I'm marking the location now, and you'd better get moving because he's really pissed. See you soon. Brady, we got a problem. Goliath's been sabotaged. We got a traitor. Was it him? Or you? You're still pissed about your clinics. You decide you prefer to deal with the Norks than us, huh? I won't dignify that with an answer. Oh, I can make you answer. Hey, Dana, come on, back in your box. We're not gonna fight each other. Crawford, do you know anything about this? Any hint one of us might have been turned? An agent like this will be run by the secret police. Nothing leaks from there. You, you betrayed us. Who you gonna accuse next, Jack? Hell, maybe you turned. You always seemed like you had your own agenda. All right, all right. I'm no NSA spook, but even I conceded if one of us got turned, we'd all be dead already. There's gotta be somebody low level who doesn't know that much. We'll catch him, believe me. But right now, we gotta focus on the job. You can repair the Goliath then? Heather and the engineers are crawling all over it, but uh, it's never gonna be fixed in time. Forget Walker, start the interrogations, and find the fucking traitor. No, no, Walker is the only objective. How many times do I have to say it? We need him. The revolution depends on him. What we gotta do is come up with a new plan. Well, it's the same deal as before. The hall is still ringed in steel, only now you don't have the Goliath to blast your way in. Yeah, well, maybe we can backdoor our way in, I don't know. Catch him off guard or something. I... 
may have an idea there. Yeah, go on. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably unwise. Unwise? Who'd notice? Well, if you remember the Trojan War, the Greeks couldn't penetrate the Trojan defenses, so they used a wooden Crawford, horse Crawford. to... history's for people who can't keep up. What's the plan? The authorities are still after Brady here. They want to force him to give evidence at the trial. I could simulate his capture and deliver him into their hands. Oh, that's a great fucking idea. Then I got two people to rescue instead of one. Like it's not hard enough already? They'll hold Brady in the hall compound before the trial. You then find a way to break him out of his cell, and he can use his talents to force a route for your strike team. I'm still waiting to hear a plan. That sounds like a suicide pact. It is risky, of course. But does anyone have a better suggestion? Uh, he'd be well rewarded for begging Brady. The higher up you are, the more useful you are. I think this is worth a shot. Hey, will the mayor be at the trial? Simpson, I believe so. He would not miss such an opportunity. Oh, I'm in. Brady's got the guts to do it, so let's take the chance. We must move quickly if we're to attempt it. You're in, right? Right. You're on a path to destruction, Ethan. You need to turn back. Doc, Brady knows what he's doing. If we pull this off, nothing will stop us. I'll make sure Brady's handed over safely. Nothing will go wrong from my end. Yeah, we need to figure out a way to bust you out of your cell once you're inside. Don't worry, we won't leave you hanging, Brady. You're too important to us now. And I really appreciate you doing this. It takes real guts. Okay, go with Crawford. We'll see you at Independence Hall. After you. Crawford. Sorry about your head, but everything worked perfectly. You're now inside Independence Hall. I'm sending an upgrade to your keycard access so you can open your cell. Parrish's strike team is nearly here. I'm helping them avoid the patrols.
work, Ethan. Come on, people, move up. Let's go. We're clear! You did a great job. Come on, everyone. Go, go. Clear! They haven't detected us. We'll have the element of surprise when we breach. Couldn't ask for more than this. a message Prophet. for the terrorist group calling Prophet themselves us out. the resistance. Oh, shit. Your efforts are admirable, difficultly predictable. If you want to live, you'll throw down your arms and surrender. Now we gotta get out of here. As for Spread your brother's voice of freedom. Check the exits. Wow. There has to be a way out. I'll let him right, yes, Try himself. the stairs. People Come on, America, move yourself. This is the voice of freedom. I stand before you today oh. in the hope oh. that him that oh. easily. I free your mind Fucking from the traitor. and truths. Which I have personally fed you since our KBA saviors arrived. It's over. Oh, and he goes on and on like this for some time. Your little revolution, it's finished. And Dana, if you're there, regrettably, we were denied our reunion. But at least we'll always have Riverside. Oh, how I miss those times. Dana. Get off me! Shut the fucking mouth! Oh shit, gas! Get your masks on! Heather, the worst thing to here, we need help now. Parrish, I've managed to fix the Goliath. We're on our way. Come on, let's go! Okay, we got to go!
Fuck, Heather! Fuck! Dear God, it was all a trap. A total fucking disaster. Fucking Simpson. Fucking smuggler. Shit! To know each other? You should have fucking told me. Fuck off! Get a room. What now? We've lost Walker, Heather's been killed, and the Goliath's toast. We are fucked! Maybe you can still rescue him. Ah, oh, he's finished, man. They broke him. He's telling everybody to roll over and play nice with the Norks. Game over. You know what I say? I say kill them all. Every lousy collaborator, every North, their wives, their kids, just kill them all! That's just killing for the sake of it. Revenge won't set us free. We have to be ruthless. It's the only way. I'd rather be a good man enslaved than become a monster in the name of freedom. Oh, Doc, we don't need your fucking preaching. We need a plan. The next person is speak better say something constructive. Parrish, you need to get out here. We got reports of Nork attacks across the whole city. Christ, do they ever fucking stop? I'm trying to wipe us out. Once and for all! I'll set up teams of medics. Get triage wherever you need. Revolution's over, huh? Nothing left to fight for but our pride? Well, the Norks took most things, but they're not gonna take that, right? Come on! If this is the end, we're gonna go down and fight. Rimmer! Where we need it! <sighs> The Norks have gone crazy. They're hitting us everywhere. They must have been planning this for months. Every cell's reporting casualties. Okay, me, Dana, Brady, we'll get out there and see what we can do. Brady, you go to Lombard, Dana Holloway, I'll take Elm Tree. Let's move. It's depressing. Watch We're with you, Parrish. Come on, people! So alive. Come on, Brady. We gotta get to Lombard. Our people need help. The KPA haven't launched Let's an attack on this scale Let's since the occupation. Fast. Come on, we gotta go! Get out there and bring our people back. Oh god, it's carnage. We got people trapped all over the district. How are we gonna get everyone out? You gotta help them. This is Brady! We're getting slaughtered out here! District. Hundreds are dead. Parrish and the others are in the war room. There's no plan that can save us now. Hey, Brady, you're still with us, huh? Fuck knows how. The Norks have grinded us into dust. I need food. I need sleep. Ah, we're almost done for. Doc, how many wounds have we got? Doc. Doc, how many wounded? 
more than we can help. Much more. We're giving methanol for the pain. It's all we got. Most of them won't make it. I better get back. They need me. Doc, sit, Sam. Sam. Why don't you sit a while? You've done enough already. It won't make no difference now. The revolution's over. We can't beat them. There's not enough of us left. Maybe that door is closed. You took them on with violence and you lost. But I always said there was another way. A non-violent way. I have a dream. Dream on. You spent so long fighting for the people, you've forgotten to listen to them. I hear them. They haven't given up. They haven't lost hope. We got nothing, Doc. We got nothing left to offer them. Get on your feet. We haven't lost. Simpson and Lenore expect us over, but we're not dead, so we're not finished. We have to hit back. Girl, just stop. I'll never stop. I can't stop. The Norks will find that out, and so will fucking Simpson. Hey, listen, maybe we should lay low for a while, huh? We'll make them think we're wiped out. It'll take some time. We'll build ourselves up again. If we wait, we're finished. We have to do something spectacular right now. Like what? Put the mayor on TV. Do to him what they did to Walker. Yeah, that sounds good, you know. <sighs> Humiliate that bastard Simpson on TV. People would know we're still in the game then. We can get a ton of new recruits. But how are we gonna pull it off? Who apart from us is crazy enough to attack City Hall? Prison district's full of crazies dying for a crack at the Norks. I got a few contacts there. You're gonna make the same mistakes all over again. Will you never learn? Crawford was always saying we should learn from the past, and he ended up joining the Norks. If fighting them's a mistake, I'm gonna keep making it. Because it's all I know how to fucking do. I knew I could stiffen you up again. Simpson won't see us coming until it's too fucking late. Come on, Dana. It's time for the Hail Mary. You two handle the restricted zone. I need to rally the survivors. This is not over. Ethan, if we're going to recruit a team to attack City Hall, we need to find a way into the restricted zone. It's maximum security, but I heard some of the prisoners broke out of there recently and we're heading through Old Town. If you can find out how they escaped, could be we can get in the same way they got out. You head to Old Town, I'll secure the weapons to all our new recruits. This way to Old Town, Brady. Ethan, it's Dana. Head for the prison wall. The prisoners probably use a tunnel to escape, so see if you can find where it comes out. KPA bodies and we didn't kill them. Looks like they've been dead about a day. Could be the prisoners came out around here somewhere. Ethan, looks like this is where the prisoners came out. They must have a way to open that security gate. Damn, I was hoping it would just be a tunnel or something we could use. Okay, we'll just have to track them down. Find out how they opened that gate. If they're on the run, they'll be looking for hiding places. Could be they're holed up in one of our stashes. You better download the locations from the transceiver. Good hunting, Ethan. Uploading the locations of potential hiding places to your phone. See if the prisoners are holed up in one of them. You're getting close, Ethan. Go carefully. You don't want to spook the prisoners if they're hiding here. Looks like the prisoners have been here, but something made them move on. Maybe they're heading somewhere specific. I wonder if they have a plan to get clear of Philly. Better catch them before they pull it off. The prisoners came here as well. Hopefully they didn't get far. Keep looking, Ethan. We have to find out what they know. We're running out of possible hiding places. I hope you find them here. Resistance. I need help. The three of us broke out. 
but we had to split up and a sniper got me. The others will be at the docks waiting for Brooks in a white container. He's selling us a boat. <sighs> Tell him to come back for me. You better get to the docks. Find them before they find a boat. That wounded prisoner said something about a white container. Better check them out. Maybe they've holed up inside one. Nothing here. Better keep looking. This is bad. No. Wait, these bodies are old. This can't be who we're looking for. What the hell is going on here? More bodies. But again, they've been dead a long time. I hope our escapers haven't suffered the same fate. Who the hell is locking prisoners in these boxes and leaving them to die? It doesn't make sense for the Norks to do this. Thank God! Who is it? I can't see. Whoever you are, thank you. I thought we were gonna die in here. This fucker Brooks locked us in and just left us to rot. He was supposed to get us on a boat. Said it was all arranged. How fucking dumb were we? I should have known not to trust the clab. A thousand bucks each we paid just to end up in this oversized coffin. Your resistance, right? Don't leave us, they'll take us back to the prison. I can't hack another day in that hellhole. Okay, okay. Take it easy. Look, please, will you help us? Three years we spent in the restricted zone, and we're lucky we lasted that long. If you can help us get a boat, we'll give you anything we can. We got no money left, but we got this key card Brooks sold us. That's how we got out. But you resistance guys could make use of it. I'd give it to you now, but I swallowed it for safekeeping. <laughs> Old habits die hard. But soon as it passes through, it's yours. Just please get us that boat. We saw one down by the bridge. We just need you to deal with the soldiers. What about Redding? We have to go back for him. And we will. As soon as we gather our strength, we'll go find him. If you're after a boat, the nearby repair station is your best chance of finding one. We used to do supply runs along the river from here until the Norks shut us down. Can't believe it. You actually got us a boat. You crawled through a river of KPA shit and came out clean on the other side. You're a resilient son of a bitch, I'll give you that. Yeah, I'm impressed, Brady. I didn't think you spineless resistant types had it in you. Hey, show a little respect, Floyd. You've been hanging around them KPA for too long. Forgotten how people should treat those that help them. As much as I'd like to sit around and chat about morals all day, we need to move. The KPA won't stay away forever. I want to be long gone from here before they come looking for us. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Okay, we're gonna make a move. Here's the key card, I promise you. Hell, you've more than earned it. Good luck, Brady. I hope your little revolution pays off. Good work, Ethan. That key card should get you into the restricted zone. Head for the gate. Once you get in, look for a guy called Philip Small. Me and him go way back. He's not the most stable of people, but he can help you recruit a team. I've got the guns, just trying to transport them your way. It's hard to move around right now, but I'll get there. See you soon. All right, the card worked. <laughs> I'm a little surprised. Head through the tunnel, Brady, and you should end up in the restricted zone. When you get in there, stay alert. The restricted zone is one big prison complex. The Norks set it up to detain all the people who rebelled against them. It's pretty crowded in there, and not just with captured resistance. They throw all the criminals in there, too. 
It's dangerous in there, Ethan. Trust me. Looks like not all of them made it out. You might as well take his prisoner outfit. He isn't exactly making use of it anymore. Besides, you'll need to blend in with the rest of the inmates if this is gonna work. And we're in. Best not to hang around. Head straight to the safe house. That's the last known location I have for my contacts. Just watch your back. Nice one, Brady. This will help build support in the district. <laughs> they need to separate fuckheads like you. said he's gonna straight up kill The safe kids. house is somewhere inside the boys. The KPA keep everyone penned in and the inmates police themselves. Small set up his operation there as it's a Nork no-go zone. We can fucking do this. Fuck you up. Is that the best you can do? With his eye. Come on, this is it. Stay the fuck back! Okay, sit in the fucking chair. Sit down. Who the fuck are you? You a Nork agent? <laughs> Shit, man, you're gonna get your fucking face blown off. I swear to... Well, answer it. Answer it. You shouldn't leave him hanging. Brady? Brady, you made contact yet? More? Is that you? Fuck, I thought you were dead. Small, you fucktard. You wish I was dead. You forget what I told you last time? No, 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 it's all good. I promise. Better be. Right, listen up. You're with Ethan Brady, he's with me, so you better be treating him right. Uh, yeah, 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 sure I am. It's... We're going after Simpson at City Hall. Gonna put the fuck on live TV. Got his final words ready for him. Yeah? Oh, fuck yeah! Revenge for Walker, good plan. We need some serious hard cases on City Hall. You know anyone? Well, sure. I know about a dozen guys who'd run through walls to get into a fight with the Norks. Good. Put a team together. We'll bring the guns. Next thing, we're gonna need a way of getting into the hall undetected. There's no way we can fight our way in, so we'll have to try stealth. Look, recruiting a team, like I say, that, that's fine. I can do that spinning on my head, but are you really serious about getting into City Hall undetected? No, 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 wait! I just had a thought! My man, Mickey Two-Shoes, he's explored the old service tunnels. What kind of fucking name is Mickey Two-Shoes? Everyone has two fucking shoes. Hey, he's a good guy, okay? Anyway, like I was saying, he's, he's always crawling around the tunnels like a fucking spider or something. Could be he knows a way in under the hall. Okay, good. I'm heading in soon. You better be ready. Hey, 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 wait! Fuck, man. I really thought she was dead. I preferred her when she was dead. Okay, right, listen. Most of the guys we're gonna need are locked up in ISO boxes. You'll need to get hold of the prisoner list to locate them. I'll send the location to your phone. Right. I, I need to track down Mickey. He's our only chance of getting to City Hall. Just hope he didn't go and drink himself blind again. Just when you think you're safe. Dana fucking Moore. Recruitment? Oh, bet Maggot would jump at it. <laughs> Any of the biker gangs, if they didn't all kill each other yet. The problem with putting a bunch of killers together, you end up with just one. I saw a lot of dead killers in an old city gun! You did it! <laughs> you got the list! Oh, let me just take a look here. Got him! Okay, I've located Gina, Haley, and Franklin. I'll upload their locations now. Ah, uh, still no sign of Mickey, though. Freedom, fuck yes. I don't know who you are, but I'm guessing you freed me for a reason. Right now, I need to collect some things from a friend of mine. 
but you should drop by the boar sometime and say hi. Fuck this. <laughs> Clearly not with the KPA, so I guess we're not enemies. If you ever need help killing Norks, come find me. I'll be happy to help. Okay, okay, looks like the gang is all here. Nicely done, Brady. Head back to my safe house when you get a chance. I have some pretty good news that you need to hear. Small said you're okay, so I guess I don't Brady, have to beat Brady, your ass. Brady, oh man, this Thanks is for getting me out fucking, fucking great. Boss. Get this. Mickey's being held in maximum security over at the police station. We need him, Brady. He knows the tunnels better than anyone. You need to get over there and bust him out if we're gonna get into City Hall. Now, the police station is a tough nut to crack. The KPA have it locked down tight. But if we can get some support from the other inmates, we might be able to get them to do the dirty work for us and bust that place wide open. Shown them how to fight back. Broadcast your signal. The inmates will do the rest. station. You need to get over there and bust him out if we're gonna get into City Hall. This is the KPA's most secure containment facility. It houses those that greatly threaten the KPA activity in the area. That's where Mickey is, and where you need to go to get him out.
Please, no more. I've told you everything I know. Just put me back in my cell. Hey, what's going on? You're not KPA. Thanks for getting me out of there. Small must have sent you, so I'm gonna pay him a visit. Nothing is ever free around here. Thanks again. Brady, it's Parrish. Me and Dana just arrived at the Bourse. I've met your new friends and I was a little worried. I still am, really. But Dana vouches for them. Get your ass back here and we'll go over the plan. Prison, what do you expect? Brady, glad to see you're in one piece. Now we're ready to go after Simpson, so let's run through the plan. Fuck the planning. We signed up to fight the North, so let's get to it already. You forget who's calling the shots here, Small? No, no, fuck, no, I just, I... Okay, what's the plan? We're gonna use the tunnel's Mickey shoulders to get close to City Hall. Small, you and your team are gonna grapple to the roof. They got the North security and clear a path to Simpson. I'll leave it to us, Parrish. We've been waiting for a chance like this for a long time. Me and Parrish will break into the security room here and put the building on lockdown. That should buy us enough time to deal with Simpson and get out alive. And that just leaves you, Brady. You're gonna infiltrate the building across the street from City Hall. Once inside, you gotta manually power up the main antenna. And then we can broadcast good, our good, little good. chat so with can Simpson. Can we go kick some hall. fucking Nork ass now? Easy, Small. Listen, we're all in this together. If we fail, the resistance is over. But we won't fail. No one here is gonna let that happen. When you're ready, Brady, we'll move out. Just make sure you have everything you'll need. This is it, Brady. I hope you're ready. Okay, everyone get your shit together. It's go time. Yeah! Let's kick some fucking Nork ass! Ethan, we're in. Me and Parrish are heading to the security office. Small and his team are in position. Head to the roof and find the TV antenna. We need that signal compromised before we get to Simpson. We're with you, Brady. We'll make sure you get to the TV station roof in one piece. Our man's got supplies in if you need anything. Come on, guys. When can we start the fireworks? It's quiet up here. I want to blow something up! Shut up, Small. We can't make a move until Brady has the antenna secured. Don't fuck this up. You think Small's team will be ready for us? Are you kidding? Small's been itching to strike into KPA and Simpson for a long time. Wonder what went down between those two. I don't think we want to know. Yeah. 
looks clear. I think we got them all. Brady, we're triggering the lockdown now. Secure the roof. Looks like Simpson just shit himself when he's sitting tight. Looks like he's safe for his. Fuck you! So glad you could join us! Get on that camera. Brady, get on that camera. Citizens of Philadelphia, it's time to fight back. I can't read this. Read it, you fucking weasel. It's insane. Don't you understand? Strike up a revolution, otherwise, but every American in the city, resistance or otherwise. Bullshit. Yeah? Boston, Pittsburgh, when's the last time you heard anything out of them? You expect me to believe someone who turned on his own people? God damn it! I didn't turn on anyone! Life's not so black and white! I use my position to do what I can! Look, there are soldiers swarming in here as we speak. If, if you lower your weapons, I, I swear, I swear, I'll do what I can to make sure they show mercy and maybe... Mercy? <sighs> Fucking mercy? Listen, no, listen, listen to me, my position. The fuck do you know about mercy? Dana. I know all about how you use your position. You and your boys almost kill uh, me. All right, Dana. No, no, they listen to me. Fucking my, mercy. Dana, calm I can't. I can't. down. They listen to me. Back then, I had nowhere to hide. Dana. Now. Dana, we need him. Neither do you. You hear me? Dana. Uh, no! Uh, Shit! Uh, God damn it. All right. All right, now, uh, words ain't exactly my strong point, but, uh, you know what? This ain't a time for words anymore. Or prayers, or hope. This is a time for action. Now, you're scared, and I get that. The walker's gone, the norks have got us backed into a corner, and, and you're looking for someone to... Someone to tell you what to do. Somebody to show your way out. But I say, fuck that. If you want to be saved, you got to save yourselves. You got to take responsibility. If you want your home back, take it. If you want your life back, get it back. Pick up a gun, pick up a brick, fight with your fist, grit your teeth, get fucking furious, man. Because this is it. 
This is the moment. This is our only chance. Stand with us. Stand with your sisters and your brothers. Stand with your neighbors. Just stand the fuck up! If you want out of this hell, we're gonna have to fight our way out. Alright, we're out of time. We gotta get out of here. Let's go. We'll split up and regroup once we're there. what he did to me. There's people on the streets, man. This is it. Uprising the clock, baby. You know, I just thought we were gonna show them we weren't finished. I never thought we could do this without Walker. Five long years I waited. But I finally got that so <laughs> It's time to fucking party. Let me tell you something, Dana. You are one sick, sick woman. But you know how to get the job done. Thanks. What have you done? <laughs> You're celebrating? Well, no shit, Doc. You saw what happened? They're gassing the city. There's an airship spewing out gas right now. Others are getting ready. They will kill everyone. What the hell are you serious? The mayor warned you. Why didn't you wait? This isn't Jack's fault. You've doomed us all. Why did I help you bring us to this? I don't know who I am anymore. Hey, Doc. There's no way we could have known this was gonna... I can help people get out. Save lives. That's all I ever wanted to do. I'm done with you. Sam, come on, Sam! Shit, we can't let this happen. All right, we need to act fast. We gotta destroy the airships before they gas the city. We have missiles, it's time to use them. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll break out the Sam launchers, spread them out to cover the city. The KPA should know we have them up our sleeve. We'll knock down the blimps before they can react. Seems like we should split up then? Yeah, we'll take a launcher each. Come on, let's go. Brady, we're setting up a SAM launcher at the Ashgate Police Station. Get over there and take command. We'll deal with the KPA. You need to get to the launcher team. Brady, help me with the door. Crawford! Oh, 
vampire is shit. You're here to kill me. Calm down. This wasn't supposed to happen. I never... I need information on the dusters. They've been taking people out onto the streets, executing them, collaborators. Ratted us out. They forced my hand. I had no choice. They knew about everything. Holy shit. They had me by the balls. I had to do it. Where are the dusters controlled from? I, I, I don't remember. Shit. There was so much going on, so many, so many plans. They had complete control. Fake Crawford, they're already gassing Hurlston. Fucking rats, they're coming in. Focus! I want to help. Tell me how to disable the dusters, Crawford. Get me out of the city, huh? Take me prisoner. You can protect me from the mob. I don't want to die, please! Get you to safety. Uh, I promise. The dusters are controlled from a command tower at Independence Hall. Independence Hall. I'm sorry for everything. Well, I'm sorry too. Wait, you're taking me with you? Nah, you're on your own. They forced me. You made your choice. I'll leave him to you, Brady. He makes me sick. Parish? Fuck you! You think this country belongs to you? We weren't here first. Everyone gets replaced. The KPA is stronger than you. Get out! Okay, new plan. We need to get to Independence Hall and find this drone control tower. I'll assemble a team to get us in. Brady, you go and make sure our launchers in the red zone are in place and secure. There's no point disabling the dusters if the KPA have scrapped our SAMs.
set. Fire in the hole! Keep it starts now. 